Hello. Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> What's your name? My name is. We'll use my Instagram name. My name is Capsule Bunny. And we have many choices. What do you like? Okay, I want to eat something that I've never eaten before, but. Tonkatsu, uh... tempura, sushi. Here. Here? Oh, that's really Japanese. Okay. Okay. Hi, Kampai. Hi. Cheers. It's <laughs> really good. Mm -hmm. I work in a private elementary school, and obviously, I teach English. Mm -hmm. oh. So maybe my first time to have ume with tempura. Mm. Your yeah, English sounds like not like typical British accent. Where are you from in England? Okay, I get I, I get asked that a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Essex. Essex. You're not gonna know where it is. Right. It's like it's 50 miles from London. Mm -hmm. And the only way to explain Essex to a Japanese person is it's like the Ibaraki of England. It's almost the same distance from London as Ibaraki is from Tokyo, so it's like exactly the same. Oh, I see. And I had kind of like that maybe Ibaraki sounding accent, and so <laughs> when I came to Japan, people maybe thought it was a little bit weird, and particularly getting a job. Um, speaking English, I had to focus my intonation, oh. and we use a lot of American learning tools, so and, like we have to kind of replicate a lot of CDs. So eventually, my accent started changing and becoming more. Oh, I, I see. Thai. <laughs> Thai. Oh, it was Thai in English. Red snapper. Red snapper. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I'm pretty sure we don't have red snapper in England. Mm -hmm. The only time I've had it is in Japan. We are also surrounded by the sea, so we can get a lot of fish. Actually, we don't actually eat that much fish. But Japan fish? What's that? Fish like, and chips? Codfish? Ah, uh, yeah, we have cod and yeah. rock. But they're both like white fish, and they don't really have a flavor. Like, British people oh. don't like a fishy taste. We don't really have red fish so much like tuna. Uh -huh. If we do, it's like tuna mayonnaise, right? It's like mixed up and it doesn't taste like fish anymore. Oh, I see. So, do you like fish? Basically? Yes, that's okay. why I moved to it's Japan. <laughs> I moved to Japan because I wanted to eat kaisendon every day. Like, <laughs> like that was nice. my, my dream. But then mm -hmm. I realized you can't do that. You can do that. You can do yeah. that, but you'll get bored yeah. of it pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, right? like, so, yeah. I still eat it like three times a week. Oh, like still. Yeah, it's much. really good. Mayu. <laughs> it's really good. Let's try the Thai. Um, very good. <laughs> Actually, since I moved to Japan, Japanese food got really good in England. Because when I lived there, there was only like one or two chains that did Japanese food. But now there's lots of Japanese restaurants that do it much cheaper. I think it's become a lot more accessible. Mm. 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 It looks really good. But this guy has far too many legs. I'm not sure I'm about that. I'll eat him, but okay. <laughs> it looks delicious. I do, I'm like a like chips it. in there. Yeah, it's just I, I like this kind of stuff. It's just hard to eat. I'm like, how do I how do I eat? But yeah, uh, uh. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> this little guy with the eyes. He's kind of cute. I'm gonna feel <laughs> bad about eating them, but I'm gonna eat him. Yeah, you feel sorry about it. This is gonna be messy. So the man goma dough. The texture is really different to regular tofu. <laughs> so, so, so. It's like really heavy and thick. Yeah, it's thick. Mm, it's good. It's really 
I really like Ika. <laughs> it's like meaty and thick. I guess because I'm British and like British people would really like this. Oh. It's like closer to meat than fish. So we are almost in the end of the year. Do you have any plan for New Year? Or? I don't really have any plans. I didn't really think about it because maybe just Hatsumode and I want to get Fukubukuro this oh. year. I usually do that every day on the 2nd mm. in um, Ichimanaki. Oh, Ichimanaki. <laughs> yeah. I see. So that's like a battle. So uh -huh. you have to like mentally prepare yourself and like get ready. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably just be at home, I think, with um, my son. Your son? Yeah. Oh, you're married. Do you want to see a picture? Okay. Your husband is... Uh... <laughs> I see. <laughs> no, my son. Oh, your son. How awesome. handsome yes. and ikemen he is. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> that was really good, like really sweet. I think that for ebi, you can really tell the difference between a good ebi and a bad ebi or like a fresh ebi and a not fresh ebi. Mm, it's really good. I don't really like nankon that much. Eh, so uh, nanda. I don't like anything with holes in. It looks kind of weird. <laughs> not the taste. <laughs> yeah. It's Yeah, I'm surprised because you know usually foreigners don't like like a kind of seafoods they don't really know about. There's nothing I don't really like apart from also eat it, but I don't really like konyaki. Oh. I, mean, I, I don't know, it's weird. I but I still eat it. How about natto? Yeah, I eat it oh, really? a lot. It's really good for your stomach and yeah. helps your digestion. Right. I also like um nama tamago on top. Tamago natto. Maybe all of these might be work. Mm. Mm. So why you decided to come to Japan? I guess um, my dad introduced me to sushi when I was real small oh. and I really really liked it. So I got first into Japanese food and I said like I want to eat kaisendon every day. <laughs> Obviously, I really like Japanese fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a Japanese fashion community in London and I got involved with that and we have like fashion shows. There's nothing like too culture shocky about it. Okay. Because like I've been to places in Europe where no one speaks English and there's no English lines and like you try to take a bus. Like in Tokyo, you, there's a very good train system. There's a lot of signs in English. In that respect, I think Tokyo is quite an easy place to live. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite anime? I like Stein's Gate and I like Jojo's. Oh, Jojo. Oh, <laughs> My students every day is Kimetsu no Yaiba. All day. Oh, 
this is a good idea. I recently bought a teapot to be a shizuket, <laughs> and I not, normally just do like sashimi, but recently I tried putting loads of different things in my shizuket, so this, this is a good idea. I didn't know this. Mm. It's good though. Mm. I don't mind it. I prefer the version just with dashi and shoyu. Oh. But this is pretty good too. This is probably more healthy. Mm. 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 My favorite thing about Japanese food is that you can have it so many different ways. Like you have tempura, you can have tempura ramen, you can have ochizuki tempura, you can like, there's so many different ways. Oh. It was really, really good actually. It made me realize tempura is more varied. Yeah, so I think I want to eat more tempura like this. And also the ochizuki was really, really good. Oh. Thank you, it's really good. Thank you. <laughs> so please follow my Instagram. Check it out. Yay, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs>